Hell yeah. My kind of matchup. I think the real winner will be the guy who parries um, a super. The scenario is so specific for that to ever be the right play. The super needs to be about to chip out and it needs to be a raw super. I hate towards fierce and footsies, man. That button sucks. I think light chop is pretty good here. Or light, light, light slash elbow. It's very hard for Alex to punish. Oh, I need to jump short. I wonder if he wanted that. That's a really strange thing to go for. Sun light punch is not very good against a stomp, but it's very good against the jump in uh, grab. Or a normal jump in. I shouldn't say very good against a normal jump in, but you know it works. That's a nice starter. That's like a starter you don't see very often, but you can still sledgehammer there. Very nice. Got him. Resets. Backdash is a pretty good option after that head crush. It's not great, but it's pretty good. I want to see dashing into parry. Oh my god, I'll take it back. I want to see that. Yeah! He went for wake up parry. I saw that. Is that one frame startup or two frame startup? I know it's one or the other. Nice light elbow. Uh oh. Not even max damage. Come on, Miwad. Show me them towards fierce combos. Alright. That's pretty cool. Maybe EX Knee would have gotten the stun there. This should kill, actually. If he knows the, um... Oh, no. He did it! He did the right combo. He just missed the super cancel right at the end. Very nice spacing. What the fuck? I think he didn't want that. I think he wanted uh, either towards fierce or stand strong. Oh, my. Gotta be really careful about whiffs like that. Alex can actually get big damages on a whiff in this matchup now. Or not in this matchup now, but like if once he has V trigger up, Alex can backdash a command grab, for example, and then do like towards fierce into a sledgehammer and just get a ton of damage like that. That was a pretty good first match. Alex just gets a ton of damage when he's in um, Sledgehammer and V Trigger in general. Very nice. It's like an empty cancel. Alex's Stand Fierce is one of the farthest range cancels in the entire game, which is occasionally useful. Ooh, poking. That button sucks now. Very nice. Does he know the combos? No. Or maybe he just didn't care. He wanted the pushing. For the record, Alex can get a medium slash elbow there, and it gets good damage and still a lot of corner carry. Most Alex players don't really look for it, which baffles me. Nice! That's his max damage combo there, you can't do Larry there anymore. Uh oh. Very nice. This is near stun plus corner. Ah. Oh, that was. that. that I think that was a whiff punish to kill, potentially. I think he could have stayed fierce to such hammer that. That would have been hard to catch in the moment, but I think it was doable. That's a pretty easy button that's whiff punish, to be honest. It sticks out there for a while. Nice jump in. Max damage from that range, I'm pretty sure. That was probably unsafe. Okay. So the Towards Fierce works. Lariat. Yeah, that's a mix up. Here comes the command guy, right? Oh, failed low. This should kill, easily. He got probably the most meter build he could get out of it, which is nice. Very cool. Whoa! Stand Fierce did not hit. He's trying to use it like a poke. You all got a couple good resets there. Stomp didn't hit. Really good reset on that one. Stand jab, immediate command grab. I'm surprised he even rolled the right way in that scenario. Good stomp. I think stomps are alright here. Alex has a pretty far range low jab at 4 frames. And then a pre a really far range stand short at 5 frames. And I think the stomps are like minus 4, right? So I think from depending on the range you can use crush jab to punish them. Whoa! EX command grab got counter hit. Very nice reset. It's really telegraphed as a reset there, but even though it's telegraphed, like, staying strong is... Ooh! What just happened? He parried. Unfortunately, Meatwad parried the um, Sledgehammer, but released his own Sledgehammer and then wasn't ready for the full combo. Like, it's good to parry a Sledgehammer and then not release yours because that gives you, like, you know, towards fear, stand strong, Sledgehammer, backdrop, or whatever combo he was going to go for. Um... That's more damage than just the sledgehammer into follow up by itself. If you parry something unsafe that gives you like a huge punish, it's best not to do the sledgehammer. But he released but wasn't ready for the full combo. Probably because he didn't even realize there was a third parry there. It was a, a lot of crazy things happening at once. Really good uh, down fierce, really good follow up. I love that the, the counter pressure 
he's ready to go into a combo. He's using the counter pressure as like a confirm. That's a really high level thing. I'm gonna be making a video on it soon, I think. Nice neutral jump. EX drop is the max damage under. Technically speaking, EX elbow does more damage and also has better corner carry, but it requires kind of precise charging. Normal throw. Backdash gets out of normal throw and command grab. Unfortunately, sleep sweep is very committal. Ah, nice little confirm. He actually had more there because it was counter hit, but you know, it would have been hard to pick up. It was just stand strong, stand strong, I think. Nice. Really good reset. That was staying fierce into a flash kick motion. I saw that. That should have been EX knee. I think that's what he wanted. This should stun, right? Not quite. I like the stand medium kick there. Ugh. Misjudged the range. Stand fierce. Sledgehammer. Chop to keep him in the corner. He goes straight to super. I was not expecting that. That's fine. That still does a shit ton of damage even in this combo. His next combo might kill. Ah. Uh. Very nice from Ominous. That mistimed command grab, though. Like, the, that command grab would have beat that wake up throw. Wake up delayed throw. That was like the right read, but he just blew it. It's because a command grab... Ominous played that right. A command grab wasn't going to kill him there. But um, if it was towards Fierce and to stand strong into Sledgehammer, it would have killed. So he played it. So he played the mix-up so that he wouldn't die if he guessed wrong. I wonder if there was a conversion from that far away. Maybe light chop. Probably nothing. No anti air. That's a nice little string, I guess. Same jab failed to hit jump short. Ugh! The overhead? Dash and overhead? Don't really like that. Nice stand fierce. He's trying for the. Oh no. He got the counter hit too. He just didn't get the completion. Ooh. That's a nice dash in short. Jump strong. That's got a nice horizontal hitbox, I guess. I don't know why he didn't do jump right now, though. Maybe he wanted something to hit sooner. Send strong into Sledgehammer is a nice little... Whoa! Ooh, cool conversion. He did the cross-up normal so that he would hit even if the opponent went over his head. Which he did. I like the use of VX there. Now he's like a... Whoa! A low from winning. Even if that was steered properly, the jab probably would have counter hit. I don't know. Maybe not, because he, he was already grabbing. That's a weird thing to do there. Not a bad thing, just a weird thing. I still really like that stand fierce into head head crush that he got a little while ago. Miwad is being very safe with those roundhouses. He's not risking the dash in. He's anticipating ominous going for a lot of oh no. Nice convert. Very big scramble there. Crouch fierce traded. Crouch fierce sucks. It could have been a little bit sooner, because that was the first hit of Crouch Fierce. Crouch Fierce second hit is the reliable anti air hit. The first hit is not very good. Oh, he didn't know that was going to work, though. No, oh, no, 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 no. He parried the Sledgehammer, but he wasn't ready for that. Being parried in this matchup, like going for your own Sledgehammer, is actually a pretty good idea. Because you can cancel any attack, including your parried attacks, into Sledgehammer. The only normal that Alex has that can't be canceled to Sledgehammer is uh, towards Strong. Very nice. Oh my god, what happened? You should just do the regular ass follow up here. No meter. Yeah. That has like good Oki and good damage. Okay. Two St. Fierces. You can actually do a Lariat there. Which is the correct combo avenue now. Very nice. Sledgehammer. This is almost done. Oh my god, this will kill. I think. Same round house towards... No. That's the wrong combo! You had Sledgehammer! You went for a reset. Maybe it's still the right combo. Wow, good jump. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me, Meatwad? Stan oh, fuck, fuck, that's just a link to Stan Fierce, he just missed the link. He just missed the link. Maybe that corner combo that he went for, that's like the normal B&B &B corner combo, maybe that's just still the right combo to go for. The combo I was thinking he should go for was Stan Fierce into such into... Or Stan Fierce into... No, what even is it? I don't know. You can do Stain Fierce, Sledgehammer, Cancel in this matchup. And then do um, Towards Fierce into Stain Strong. Like, that link is there now. That's pretty good. Alright, nice whiff punish. Couldn't do anything from a Lariat that far away. Alex's Dash is probably the fastest of any grappler. Cover some nice ground, too. Ooh. 
Ooh. That's a nice little convert combo. Oh no. I think that didn't work because he... Oh. That's not a bad punish. I don't know how minus Sledgehammer is. I know it's pretty punishable, but I don't know if it's like... It needs to be minus 11 in order for Alex to get out of Lariat. <laughs> that was good reaction. He probably did that anticipating that. Um, you can cancel Alex normal into command grab. Alex's command grab works and cancels, but it's normally a horrible idea. But if the opponent goes for a parry of some variety, like Reuse or, or Geefs or any sort of armored attack, um, canceling the command grab will actually interrupt it. It's pretty cool looking. It's like really, really specific. It's almost never the right play, but it was there. The super will actually kill here, I think. He didn't get it. He did not get the super. I don't think it would have killed actually. <laughs> If he did a little bit more corner push, if he like got an extra dash, I don't think Ominous could have shaken out. And then he could have done the Stair Roundhouse combo. And if he did the Stair Roundhouse combo, he got might have gotten enough meter and enough damage that he would have gotten the super. And the super might have killed. I don't know. Round one. Let me know it's actually the HK elbow. All the HP elbow. Nice sweep. The sweep is pretty good in this matchup. Stand Strong is a very good button for whiff punishing. So when you see them just like put out Stand Strong, it's got a very small hitbox and hurtbox, but it tends to beat attacks coming in. It comes out really quickly and can easily hit extended hurtboxes. Wow, max range conversions. Bagdashing Lariat. That's so bullshit, man. What's Alex supposed to even do about that? That backdash would have escaped the Lariat or the fucking command grab. Mm, too far. Alright, throw's not bad there. That was again with punishable Stairman House, I'm pretty sure. He's looking for the um, Stairman House V trigger. He's trying to whiff it and empty cancel V trigger. Oh, that should be it. Same fierce. Sledgehammer? He was too slow. I think he got a, I think he got a late cancel into Sledgehammer. Whoa. Bad. Good read, bad timing. Ominous must be kicking himself for that one. Nice. Ah, he he went for EX, I think, but he didn't have any meter. So he got like the medium one or something, the hard one. Otherwise he just would have ended with light. It's the only one that actually works there. That's a whiff punish. EX chop is max damage there. I feel like EX knee might be better, because that has better Oki, right? It might even have better damage too. The X chop has really high damage, but EX knee is almost impossible to land in most combos, and I think it might be stronger still. I'm actually not sure. I think I did them both, and I don't remember which one was better. Maybe I'm looking pretty good right now. Round one. Fight. Dashing command grab. Always the same roundhouse. There's the dashing command grab. Hit again. Probably went for another one there. That was the reversal normal too. It looks like he's doing a slightly delayed non-reversal like light so that he can block the stamina house and still hit the dash in. That's really intelligent. A delayed stamina house would actually beat that or just, you know, it depends on whether he's reacting to the dash or not. If he is, then there's very little that Alex can do to push a mix up there. Nice. Uh, that was a punish, I'm pretty sure. V-Triggers have startup. Ooh, if that was Crutch Fierce, it would've been over. Nice jump! I think that he was better with punishing than dashing in for a command grab there. Stand medium kick would've sealed it a lot more reliably. That was cool. Whoa. That's a little ender. Oh my lord. The reads are on point right now for both players. There's probably nothing you can do if you get counter hit, stand strong after Lariat. You might be able to link like stand forward or something like that. I don't know. Alex's normals are really slow. Maybe you can link like low strong. Um, I think that's not max there. Yikes! This sh might kill. Yeah. All right. So what he did was low strong, activate towards fierce. Um. Sledgehammer, and then like EX backdrop, but I'm pretty sure you can do low strong, activate, 
down fierce. Uh, sledgehammer cancel first hit and then EX knee, and I think that does more damage. Ideas for potential balance changes, a whole bunch. Not all of them are mine, but some of them are mine. There's a lot of balance changes. Nice punish that I would undo, let's put it like that. I mean, not a lot. But, um... Alex, Urien... Um... Guile and, and Fung all have some balance changes I would undo. Dash in, low jab, low jab. The fact that that was blocked means that a... Hmm... Were those light chops? If Alex gets a counter hit light chop, he can do crouch jab into another light chop. Ugh. That could have been a combo to nearly kill. Oh! Got him, that should kill. Very nice, Mominous. Yo, this is super back and forth. These two are like right around the same level. Dominus is a lot more defensive. That was sweet punish. Pretty sure. Ugh! Jumped out of the lariat. Ugh! He hit jump roundhouse too late. Empty cancel stand fierces, I bet. Tried to space a hard slash elbow, but that's kind of hard to do. Whoa! He went for reversal. That's like the first one we've seen. It's not very good in this matchup. Or it is. It depends. It's definitely not that bad, but like command grab makes all armored normals a little bit worse. Armored reversals. Nice. Sledge. Oh, okay. I wonder if Sledgehammer even juggles there. He didn't know whether he got the first or second hit, unfortunately. That was a full charge. Ooh. Nice. EX. Yeah. He couldn't. Didn't have time to approach there. He was smart with the low jab. No meter. He had to end with nothing. Oh my god, this is tense. Oh, that's it! Oh, it wasn't it! He didn't come down with Jump Roundhouse, he came down with... Oh, wasn't that... Sand Jab didn't hit. Crash Jab was probably the correct play, so Crash Jab goes a little farther. Nice, um... Nice scramble. Jump Medium Kick didn't quite kill, and I think if he hit it a little bit lower, or hit Stand Medium Kick a little bit later, the two would have comboed, but he didn't quite get the link. It was like a really nice neutral jump. Nice EX command grab. That was so much damage. The laid crush jab again. I'm pretty sure he's doing that on purpose to be safe against both options. That's a really nice play. I'm going to steal that. No charging. I'm pretty sure if Meatwad did that, he would have had the charge. Ugh! That was a punish. And he went for the reset. He could have just gone for two jabs into chop. And that was more reliable. I understand why he did what he did, though. Very nice. Good convert. He's still got a long way to climb, though. Crouch Fierce got the first hit. Why is that so fucking smart? Second Lariat wins. This kills. Second Sledgehammer wins. This is 4-4, four, four, isn't it? Alex wins. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, my tier. That looked like a failed chop. There was the charging. Very nice charging. Baby combo. You can do like a um, stand strong, stand jab there. Nice! Got the back drop too. It was hard chop. He whiff punished with hard chop. That's like insane. <laughs> uh, overhead is nice and slow. Back drop for the corner. I probably wouldn't have used DX. No quick stand. That was probably a misplay. No quick stand there either. Is he trying to fuck up uh, Ominous' setups? That's really strange. Ah, Sledgehammer won't punish most lights. <laughs> Three jabs. Power. Nice convert. Nice! Light flash. All, all flash chops leave you in a pretty good scenario. Whew! Whew! That was a good comeback. He was down a lot. Ooh, 
Ooh. That was not a guaranteed B skill. But Miwa did not react in time. There is a shitty hitbox. That's probably a punish. Yep. Miwad knows his character's frame data. Ah, oh, EX Command Grab got beat by the uh, jab. Jabs are doing a lot of work in this matchup, honestly. Command Grab got beat again. Watch for Alex's approach and then uh, stand strong into cancel. That's pretty smart. It's pretty nice that he had back charge there. Huh? Counter hit? Same fierce. Sledgehammer. Back drop? No, EX drop. Didn't really matter which ender he used at that position. Ugh. Of all things! I don't know about that meter use, though. That was a smart set, Jimmy. Not attacking on the way down. Not going for Alex's cross-up was actually very intelligent. Oh, there it is. That meanwhile took it. That was a really good comeback. Again. Alex wins. Nice. Nice set. Really nice set. Time for me to immediately go to the bottom and see if they rematch. How do I tell them to do another one? <sighs> Alex is tight. Alex is one of my favorite characters to watch. I was watching all this Storm Kubo replays from the to the Topanga League Six, and it's fucking incredible. Love that Alex costume. Doesn't look like something out of Street Fighter. Looks like something out of like I don't know Warcraft. I don't know what. Mm, dashing command grab a bit too far away. Yeah, he got it. He got the link. <laughs> Counter hit flash drop links to uh, Jeb. He could have done a light flash drop there. Most Alex players don't. I don't know if they know about it, but most Alex players aren't ready for it. But it's totally a thing you can hit. It's pretty funny when you get it. You can get EX flash drop there too. Nice uh, punish. Really important when you backdash an SPD to be ready for a punish. It's minus six. Alex has absolutely nothing to combo from that range. That was Crouch Jab and TX Chop Punish, I'm pretty sure. Or Light Chop, considering the meter. Nice. If that was if that was B Trigger cancelled. It's being really aggressive with the uh Ooh. That should kill. Is that Roundhouse Sledgehammer? Oh. And Tier Jab actually doing something. There's the anti-air crouch fierce. Didn't even go for the combo. Nice dashes. Ugh. Fuck Alex. Nice counter hit. That Alex's Alex's anti-airs are really vulnerable to counter hits. Really vulnerable to stomp rather. Nice. He caught him airborne. I think he had a knee there that he should have gone for. He didn't react in time. First hit. Capcom's just like fuck Alex. Oh my god, that range. Cheap. Another one? Another one. I saw it. Yup. He wasn't, he didn't close the distance. That should have been EX. I understand why he didn't go for EX. He made it like, he hella telegraphed it to me. Cause he, otherwise he would have gone point blank. If he was gonna go for a, for a, uh, Lariat, he would have just closed the distance and just been done with it. But he hung out at the max range of command grab. It was like super obvious to me. Nah, uh, that's an interesting punish. You, you can actually get a, a, a lariat there. That is pretty minus that down fierce. It's like really, really punishable. He has to do like two full rolls. Nice punish. Jump away is safer, but less rewarding. Ooh, there it is. Uh, I don't think he wanted raw activate. I think he wanted sand strong activate or something like that. So I wake up parry there. Damn, reads upon reads. Ominous was right that entire round. round 
Nice EX knee, that's Alex's only true reliable anti air. And even then, it can be kind of picky if they're straight over your head. Oh no! Not a super bad punish though. Miwad is really good with the mid air charging. It's not like, I mean, it's like, Alex is one of those characters, okay. Oh, he dropped it. Alex is one of those characters where you don't really need to do mid-air charging. Like, most Alex players don't bother, they just do flash chop combos. But technically speaking, like, flash chop combos are a little bit more optimal. Damn, if he cancelled that stand strong to Sledgehammer, that would have been so sick. This is angry ominous. Ominous fully unlocked. Round one. Fight. Crouch forward minus two unlock again. That's fine. Beast hurtbox hitbox for stand forward. That's okay. Those are okay changes. I don't know. I want to nerf his really broken stuff instead of like nerfing his. I don't know. Those things are all good. Probably nerfing stand fierce would be a good change. This is um. The Alex only Befail Cup Grand Finals. Ugh. Whoever wins this is an honor a Bath Cup winner. Nice. <laughs> meter build? I don't like that at all. He could have still won that. The first two chops were just fine, but like when he did the hard chop, this is like stop. Even then, I wouldn't have done the second chop. That was some tight meter build. Really far away. Nice spacing. Can't punish. Oh no! He tried to walk in command grab instead of just getting a whiff punish. For something like stand strong at the EX chop would have been a nice whiff punish there. Or that. You gotta choose your ranges really carefully in this matchup. You gotta recognize ranges that Alex gets left at, because your punish is gonna change accordingly. That's a punish. Me what saw it. Crash face is pretty unsafe. Ooh. Very nice. Broken about Yurian. That's a really hard question to answer. I think the Stand Fierce is probably one of Yurian's really strong things. Um, he probably shouldn't have like a Stand Fierce, he can just con connect it. Like, the, the reward for Stand Fierce and Footsies is too high con compared to the risk. Um, I feel like Charge Stand Runhouse and Charge Stand Fierce shouldn't be nearly as good on block as they are. Uh, on hit, I'll maybe accept, but on block it's just like, it's so dumb. Whoa. Oh my god. Um, I think Yurian... Uh, mirror pressure is too... It's too forced. There needs to be some way you can just shut down a mirror unless it's confirmed. Maybe not first mirror, but second mirror. It's too, like, good for Yurian to just go for a random EX uh, tackle and just do a mirror from there. Just get, like, a second mirror for free. I think we should nerf second mirror somehow. First mirror is fine, it's okay to have a strong, a fine first mirror. And it would be okay if, like, right now there's like literally no reason to combo first mirror into second mirror. That's a thing that he can do. But now, right now, like, second mirror is too good. As long as you have at least one bar. I would say that, like, like ROG's already activated combos are probably pretty strong too. Ooh, very nice. Like, when you look at, like, a Buki second bomb, Second bomb requires like a really, really, really specific thing to actually make it work. Otherwise, you've just got to guess with it, and the guess is cost a bar and a uh, and a kunai. Otherwise, you need to do a stand medium kick and get the confirm off of that. But you know, in order for that to work, the opponent needs to give you a stand, uh, like min range close stand medium kick. So she has a confirm that makes second bomb work, but that's all. Yurian has a lot of ways to make like second mirror work. They should make like like ex like raw ex tackle into mirror second mirror punishable. I think that's it. Round one. It's unsafe generally. 
Is it already punishable from raw EX tackle? I think it's safe from EX fireball. It's really unsafe if you're doing it from like like target combo. Ooh. Like towards strong fierce into um mirror. That's like really punishable for second mirror, but safe for first mirror. Ooh. Oh it is from EX tackle? Oh. I take it all back. I have no idea what they're going to do with the Season 2.5 changes. I'm reading chat too much. Is Ominous four wins up in a row? Jesus, Miwa needs to find something. Oh my god! I like haven't been watching the State of Affairs, but they must be really ugly if Miwa's going to do wake up fucking... or round start EX tackle. Okay. This looks like a nice round. Okay. Really nice activate. He has to use EX knee here because he got both hits of Crush Fierce. Oh. He just did that. No confirm. Raw. Stand strong. Sledgehammer. Prey. No, that's a punish. This is gonna kill. I'm gonna look at that clip in a sec. Ah, uh, Crutch Fierce sucks. That looked like it was down towards Crutch Fierce, too. Oh, good empty jump. Is that Fierce? Oh, it was too far, maybe. Or maybe he just mistimed it. It looked like it was too far. It looked like it didn't hit on its first active frame. Wow. Well. Really nice reset. Larry is really fucking powerful when you're in V trigger because it sets up Sledgehammer confirms. This sh might. No. He needs the X knee and it's not going to kill anyway. Backdash got hit. Stand strong beat, got a, beat the backdash. Meatwad must be scared. Uh, Alright, let's look at this link. Look, it doesn't work like that. It's not safe. Let me see. Let me it's see. not safe, bro. It's not safe. It's not safe. God damn, most characters can't punish that. I don't know how to break it to you, but it's not safe. All you motherfuckers who have been complaining about EX Tackle in a mirror, this is what happens when you do your homework. You want to know what it looks like when you do your safe. It's not safe, bro. It's not safe. I can't grab your aim from it's that far away. I'm not even sure if my fucking 5 frame stand strong goes that far. Oops, I actually went back to back of Q. I've got to test like what characters can do anything from that. That's so far away. Oh, he left. Oh no. Time to invite two turntables who's in a ranked match. When you beat someone 5-4, ah. Uh, when you beat someone 5-4 and then they beat you 5-0. Oh. It's just like, oh. 